This video is going to show the dog being painted. I used underglaze, and remember that's kind of like a watercolor, so I could have done it two ways. If I had all the money and all the glaze in the world, I could have dipped the dog into the middle color gray first, but because that would take a ton of underglaze and it would be very wasteful, I chose to airbrush it, so that's what you're going to see first. And then you have to go back and you add the layers of the different kinds of grays, whites, and blacks. So this guy is the finished piece right here and he's probably got at least six or seven different layers of different kinds of grays. I have no idea how this is going to come out um, but we're going to see the end result in the next video. I had to add a lot of water to each glaze so each layer of the gray is pretty translucent. So basically I am taping the spots where I want the glaze to not compete with the gray glaze that I'm spraying. So um, with underglaze you can actually wash it off. I mean with any glaze you can wash it off with a sponge but because it's so porous you're not probably guaranteed to get all of it off. So basically I want the eyes to be really nice and black and clear and I want the nose and the teeth as well. Hey dad, so what we're going to do now is um, work on doing the details on the dog. So if you look at him, he's all gray at this point. So um, probably not enough to be really solid gray. Um, the water, I put a lot of water into the underglaze. So even though it looks like a solid gray, when this, when this gets fired, it's probably going to get a lot burnt off. So this is so he doesn't look exactly like the dog. Um, honestly, every haircut makes this dog look different. But I'm going to look at photos of the dog and now if I do some of the patterns that make the dog the dog, um, it'll start to look a little bit more like him. Uh, so what I'm going to first do is the, the super white parts, I'm going to sponge off a little bit a little bit of the gray, even though underneath that is probably a tone of gray. And then I'll add a little bit more white on, and I'll do some darker grays and build up to some almost, almost blacks. And then after that, I'm going to take off the tape, do the black, and do some gloss. 